Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to show you how you can take photospheres, like this one, and turn them into tiny planet images. To capture these photospheres, I'm using the photosphere option on my Pixel. Uh, this is also built into the Nexus line of devices, and there's a number of third-party apps that should work with most Android devices. So this image that you get after you take a photosphere is uh, an equal rectangular projection. So the highest row and the lowest row are actually the points directly above and directly below where the camera was when you took all the images. Uh, the top and bottom are highly distorted in the same way that when you look at a map of the world, uh, Antarctica looks like a long strip along the bottom, when in reality it's actually more of a roundish island. So we're going to take this image and we're going to drop it into Hugin, which is uh, an open panorama stitcher. And we'll see that it's already detected that this is an equirectangular image. So we'll go over to projection and change that to stereographic. Uh, it looks pretty distorted now, but if you start to bring down the field of view, you'll start to see that little planet kind of shape. Under the move and drag tab, you can grab the image and drag it around and see that you start to get that little planet kind of view. Uh, you may notice this kind of jagged artifact. This is actually where the two edges of the image line up to stitch. So if we look at the original image, we'll see that there's a, a tree lying on the ground and it kind of passes off one edge and then finishes on the other. And if we look here, we can see that there's that tree, it's laying on the ground, it passes off one edge of the image and shows up on the other edge. Once you uh, stitch your panorama, you'll see that this uh, artifact actually goes away. So once you have uh, your positioning and your field of view in uh, a way that you like it, uh, you have to go to the advanced interface because under the simple interface, it won't let you align because you only have one image, so uh, it won't let you create a panorama. Under the advanced interface, you can go over to the stitching tab, hit the stitch button where it will ask you to save your project, save your project, save your image, and in a couple seconds you will have your photosphere exported as a TIFF. You'll see that at the edges, things start to get a little blurry. That's because the image has to be extremely warped and stretched out in order to uh, make this image work. If you zoom all the way in, you'll notice it quite strongly. But uh, at a page filling size, it's not that noticeable. The effect uh, works really well. I hope you found this video interesting, and if you'd like to see more like this, check out my channel. Thanks for watching.